Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Welcome to your mid-month read um, here on the channel. I hope you guys are um, having an amazing weekend thus far, right? See what's in your energy, Aries. I feel the energy of being defeated for, uh, for a great deal of you. Um, I don't know what's going on um, with this energy, but it's super strong, Aries. So let's, let's see what's going on here for my Aries. Yeah. Oh, I have a flipper. What is it? The world. Yeah. Cycle is, is closing out for you. Mm. Things in your world is changing at this time. You're going into a new cycle. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. Spirit. I'm not going to take these. That's just a lot. Oh, I saw Queen of Pentacles there. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah, let me do a couple of more shuffles. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you feel very defeated in a lot of ways. Um, I don't know what's going on in the energy for Aries, but um, for some of you guys, um, the energy I feel is within love, within yourselves. I feel like there's a sense of um, discord for some of you guys, but let's see what the energy uh, shows. Yeah, I saw regret there, yeah. The world is the first card out. I'm going to leave it there because Spirit is saying, yeah, you're going to, it's a cycle is ending for you for sure, Aries. What is it? Another flipper. Give it to us. Yeah. Hierophant. Yep. Yeah. So there is um, a Taurus in your energy possibly or whatever, but this is also a sign of something changing for you. Um, maybe for some of you guys in the spiritual world, okay, but maybe some lessons that are playing out for you or that you need to um, adhere to, um, if you will. You know, when the hierophant comes up, um, it, it speaks of a, a, a couple of things. It could be spiritual, but this is also some type of authoritative figure, right, with the hierophant here. Oh, my goodness. What's going on with my babies? Uh, <laughs> It's okay. Hmm. It's tough. I'm I'm hearing this is tough. This is hard. Something you're going through is hard. What is that? Maybe your belief the way you've done things in the past. Yeah. King of Cups. Yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is tough. You could be dealing... Um, You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. King of Cups energy. Some lessons have been learned in this... Uh, regarding this King of Cups. And something that's closing out. A cycle is closing out. Like you're ending out a cycle... Yeah, but then we have the Six of Cups here, Reunion. Or you're nostalgic about this person or you're thinking about this person or the memory of this person. But something is changing in a connection with a King of Cups. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, yeah, mental. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's true. Ace of Swords here. Yes, yeah, so you found out some type of truth and it's had you in some type of mental chaos and block blockages or there could have been blockages within this connection the hierophant is also spirit could have put blockages on this connection when it comes to this king of cups because of why <laughs> aries what's going on because of why you like that yeah seven of, seven of pentacles like yeah a lot of delays with this king of cups mm-hmm a lot of delays in this connection. I see you poking your head out. Yeah, Queen of Wands. So you are Aries. Yeah, a lot of delays. What is it on the bottom? King of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm going to move this. No, nah, I'm going to put it on. I'm just going ahead and give you guys a th third row. You guys could be embodying this King of Pentacles energy, but there could be a King of Pentacles in your energy as well. Um, take it out. Resonates. This could be you. You could be embodying the King of Pentacles or there is a King of Pentacles in your energy. 
But some, but but spirit is blocking this connection with this King of Cups, right? There's a lot of delays, Queen of Wands, right? This is your energy right here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aries. This is your reading. You guys, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys uh, come in to watch this video. It will help you. Um, it will help get um, the message out to other Aries out there. Yes, yeah, strength is in the reverse here, Leo energy. Yeah. There's a lot of lacking in this in this connection. And it's like, I feel like you're dealing with a King of Cups that's constantly keeping you in mental chaos and confusion. There's always a delay when it comes to you, Queen of Wands. This person also, too, this King of Cups could also be a father because King of Cups does represent a, a maternal uh, energy. King of Pentacles, definitely father figure or whatever. Strength is in the reverse. It's like someone lacks the strength to continue in this energy with this King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, the tower. Yep, there it is. Yes, this is hard. That's remember I said, I, I felt the energy with this is too hard. So the cycle is ending out when it comes to this connection. It's like you're not getting what you want from this, um, this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. When it comes to working with them, mm -mm, you're not getting what you want. You're not getting what you want. I feel like you're always in a state of confusion, which is the truth. Ace of Swords is here. You could have also found out some truth about this person that's not really favorable or uh, hitting your buttons right, right? It's like they're, it's like in some instances, they're checking off your boxes, but they're not really checking off all your boxes. It's like something missing. It's like something is being withheld. Um, secrets possibly as well, um, but doesn't have to be. It's like you feel like... Also, too, Aries, it's like whatever it is that you invested in this situation, it's not it's not bearing the fruit that you thought it was going to bear, which has you in this in the strength of, in the reverse, right? Um, which is not a fun place to be, right? You're also dealing with someone who um self sabotages. You could be in this energy, your person could be in this energy, but this is um fire energy, Leo energy. This, this, yeah, this, it's like, or you could be continuing to self-sabotage this connection in some way, form or another, which is why the Hierophant is here and stepping in and blocking it, right? Yeah, because, you know, the Eight of Swords is also a blockage. It's just like dealing with this King of Cups it's always delays. It's never um, anything. This is a very inconsistent energy. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. It's like you want to you wanna link up with this person, but at the same time, it's just not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. That's the energy that I strongly feel. What's the world when it comes to this connection for my Aries? Someone raising Venus North Node. Sorry, I didn't say that in the beginning. What is it? The magician, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you're you you're manifesting a, a better beginning, right? You're manifesting to get back with this King of Cups, uh, Aries, right? Hoping that things will change or that if they, they will learn some lessons possibly as well. Yeah, and you want to come rushing in with the Knight of Swords energy, either you or them. Take it how it resonates with what's here, yeah. But yeah, the star is in the reverse when it comes to this uh king of cups yeah there's no wish fulfillment here right when the star is in reverse that's a horrible place to be is uh, actually may have left you quite depressed or this king of cups could be actually depressed even you could be manifesting for them to come in right or you want to impulsively go after this person but they are not in the energy to give you what it is that you're looking for this person could be fighting some some deep rooted things and could be ignoring um your call. Yikes. Yeah. Give me the 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 give me, what's the six of cups? What's the six of cups? Yeah. Nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yep. Yeah. So this isn't something that's going to pan out in your favor, unfortunately, right? There's a lot of uh, jealousy surrounding this connection, um, envy. 
um, even financial setbacks are for some of you guys, okay? This person could be going through some financial setbacks as well. And um, this is the truth of the matter, Ace of Swords right here, that um, that you could be learning. Mm -hmm. This could also be within your own energy as well. Yeah, I feel like whatever it is that you invested in them, it's not paying off, right? With the seven of the seven of pentacles here, um, right here. Even though the seven of Pente the seven of pentacles is not in the reverse, the problem here is um, it's just like it's taking a really long time and a lot of patience. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, to come through for you, Queen of Wands. Your energy is here, right here. That is the truth. On the bottom of the deck is heartbreak. Yep. So, yeah, this is some truth that you're learning, too, that this person is putting you through heartbreak, not to mention the Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, clarifying the Eight of Swords. Yikes. So, you're going from the Eight to the Nine. So, this person is keeping you on a very low vibrational energy. Or they also could be in this energy. Take it out. Resonates. But, yeah, there's... Yeah. Yeah, in and out energy. Knight of Wands is what I'm feeling. Yes, yeah, they come in, they they go out. Yeah, they come in, they go out. Um, you know, they, they when they come in, they come in hot. You know, very passionate and everything, and then you're left stuck, right? Um, I feel like this person is drawn to your um to your to you to your uh essence. I I will say I'll say it like that. But that's where it stops. There's no real connection here. It's it's fiery, it's hot, it's lusty, but there's no if there's something missing in this connection with this person to where you guys can't turn it around. And um I feel like there's a lack of nurturing because this Queen of Wands and this and I hate to say this, this isn't really on you. This King of Cups is the type of person, um, you know, because you know. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they're very, uh, very intuitive individuals, right? Very nurturing, um, individuals. And they also need that in return. Somewhere in this connection, you're falling short of that. And that's why you have the tower here. That's my energy. And this is the strongest energy on the board. And, um, the way it's being given it's not enough to pull you guys out of this tower energy and to actually work together. What's the queen of wands? Give me the queen of wands spirit. Yeah, in the reverse. Queen of pentacles in the reverse. Yikes. Yeah. So it's like the queen of... Whew. Yeah, I knew it. It. it damn. This person could see you as very um, greedy, um... Yeah, I knew it was something that was lacking in this connection. Do not shoot the messenger. I cannot control how these cards come out. But this, this person views you as a queen of pentacles in reverse. Very greedy, very financial, uh, financially dependent. And they feel like what you require, you can't really reciprocate. And if you do, it's only because you, you expect it 10 times more in return. Yikes. So there's no nurturing in this. Everything is based off of money, financial greed, um, envy, uh, one upping the other type energy, um, very jealous energy at that. Not very nurturing. Um, you know, not the, if the Queen of Cups comes up in the upright, then I'll give it to you. But that's not what's going on here. And this King of Cups needs that energy. Yeah. King of Pentacles, give it to me. Yeah. Hierophant, temperance. Yeah. So you so so someone has gone deep within in this connection to go to do some deep introspect this could be your energy as well temperance angels here when it comes to the king of pentacles so you guys could be embodying the king of pentacles energy like i said earlier this could also be this person as well who's really in a place of bringing peace and harmony to a situation but i feel like within themselves with um clarifying the king of pentacles so what this person does is they go deep within and they go ghost hermit is the one who goes deep within kind of um, isolates themselves from the world or whatever and deals with their own energy in their own way away from this queen of wands energy who's also the queen of pentacles in the reverse yikes 
Yeah, that's the energy that I feel. With strength in the reverse. Ooh, that's a lot. Spirit. Okay. Okay. Let me make sure they're in the upright, but this one flipped. Yeah. Four of pentacles. Yeah. Stability. So someone in this connection is lacking stability, right? Or they don't feel strong enough to be stable with you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what's going to be required here. Stability, long-term investment. You could be holding on to this person for dear life, but that's only assisting in the tower. Yeah, this person needs to be energetically released. Either you or them, take it out, it resonates. Flip the rose. <laughs> but yeah, that's the strongest energy out. Yeah, ace, when it comes to this ace of cups, yeah, tower. Yeah, ace of cups, clarifying the tower. Yeah, whew, mm, this is hard. This is hard, Aries, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This will not resonate with all areas out there, okay? So take what resonates with you, the rest. Yep, devil. Yep, clarifying the three of pentacles. Yeah, because this person, there's no trust here. This person doesn't see you as someone trustworthy or you could or you could be embodying either they're not, either you or them feel that the other is not trustworthy to work with, to have an ace of cups with. And that's the overall energy here. Yes, it's just like they have negative thoughts about working with you. Are you them? My goodness. Well, yeah, Ace of Pentacles and investing. Yeah, so even if you invested in this or whatever, it's something about the energy here with this devil card that makes it not right at all. Yeah, the fool. Yeah, wanting to take a leap of faith or whatever, but it's not pure. It's not pure energy. What is it? Three of Pentacles again. To take a leap for lovers, Six of Cups. Somebody isn't honest. Three of Cups. There it is. Somebody isn't honest. The lovers. There's a third party here. Thank you. Yep. There it is. Three is a crowd. Three of Pentacles. A fool. So... It's like, this is why it's not working because with the devil, I knew it. Okay, this person wants to take a leap of faith forward towards you, but in reality and have a reunion with you. But, and, and this is love. There's love here. This could be your energy, their energy, both energies or whatever. But the problem is there is a third party here, three of cups. Somebody isn't being honest in this connection. Wow. Uh, Oh my God, now you're going to have me pulling the cards. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it with that? Aries, what's going on? Oh, shoot. And I just knocked. I, I see this is why. Okay, let's see here. Right on up. Was there another one? Okay, no, it's just this one that fell. Yeah, there's a third party here. Yikes. And that's the problem. This is why this person can't fully commit to you or won't commit to you because they see, okay, let me tell you the energy I feel like I strongly feel. This King of Cups will not invest fully because they feel like you keep a third party on the side to fulfill all of your needs, but you're not giving to them. And that's a problem. That's a major problem in this connection. Yikes. Oh, yep. Give me messages there from the intuitive deck. Yeah, very deceptive energy. Can't be trusted. What'd I say? Ooh, oh. There it is. Don't play with me. The devil. Clarifying the three of pentacles to the ace of pentacles, the full three of pentacles again. It's too many third parties here. Yeah. Six of cups is just like it. And, and it, it could be an energy of you or them going back to the third party all the time and having this love connection. Yes. Three of cups. Three is a part. Three, three is a crowd. Three is a crowd. What is it? Yes. Yeah, stalking your social media. Yep. So you could be doing that. They could be doing that. Take it how it resonates. Somebody in this connection. Third party is watching too. Let me tell you something. Yep. Their mother don't like you. Damn, and they want to heal this connection. This could be your energy, but it's like they feel like they can't. Somebody is um haunted by their uh past wrongdoings, past and presently. Yeah, something in this connection that happened to where either you or them are regretting some of the actions that you've taken in this connection. Yeah, 
Yeah, King of Pentacles shooting their shot. Yeah, third party energy, I feel here. Trying to prove a point without a valid argument. Very, a lot of ego and jealousy in this connection. King of Pentacles, like I said, either you or them could be embodying this energy or this could be a third party. The devil magic is backfiring on them or you. Take it how it resonates, Aries, because this is, woo, the lovers. Yeah, Gemini energy again. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Yep. Oh my goodness. This is actually not Leo energy. I just need to scratch this out. This is Sagittarian energy. Yeah. Knight of Wands could be Leo Aries Sagittarius, but in true form is Sagittarian energy. Yeah. Let me just scratch it out. Sorry. I hate to be like that. But <laughs> yeah. So and this person, this King of Cups has real loving energy, but they don't trust you. They don't. Self-reflection, didn't I say? That's why the hermit mode is here. Yeah. And it's your winning season. Luck is on your side. Keep going. Yeah. So for, for some of you guys, you could be in your King of Pentacles energy, right? So like I said, this could be you. You could be in your bag and you're winning there. But when it comes to this love connection, not so much. Nothing or no one com uh, compares to you in the love you give, right? So either you or your person could uh, feel this way about you. You could feel this way about them or they could feel this way about you. But I feel like it's the other way around, to be honest, in this energy. Because just how these cards are just falling out. Because I feel like you're the one that's stuck in this Eight of uh, Swords energy as well. And this Nine of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, this person is very loving and giving or whatever. But for whatever reason, and, I, and I'm not, I really don't like the go. Like, oh, it could be, I hate when I have to be that way. Because it is an energy and I feel it strong. And it could go 50-50. But for some of you guys, this is your energy and the other half of you guys. It's their energy, okay, when it feels like the love that you give. So take the roles, flip out how they, you know, play out in your storyline. But a great deal of you guys are the ones who feel this from this person and you're not getting it because they've backed away. Yeah, King of Wands energy, Sagittarian, uh, Leo Aries, Sagittarian energy, Aries, this is you, Leo energy here. Starting fresh, 222, two, two, absolutely, because you do have the world. So new beginnings are ahead. Yeah, Queen of Cups. There's a Queen of Cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's the Queen of Cups. But this could be this person's energy as well. King and Queen of Cups energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leveling up. Yeah. It's time to heal and evolve. So I feel like either you or this person is taking the time to step away from the connection to heal and evolve. But for some of you guys, the majority, I feel, this is this uh, this King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy that you're involved with. I'm just so sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that's the energy, right? Yeah, it's like they're going to walk away from this connection, yeah, enforcing boundaries. Yep, that's what I said. They're going to walk away and enforce boundaries because they need to heal. This is too much. The third party, it's just, it came right on out. Yeah, picking fights and starting petty arguments. They're tired of that. Either you or them, but the strongest energy is this King of Cups. That was the first king out on the board, even though this is your reading, but you're not a King of Cups energy. You are... A fire sign. And so this is what I'm saying. So they could feel like you pick fights and start petty arguments with them. And this is causing them to set boundaries with you, Aries. Yeah. It's like um, the energy of it, you could come off kind of bullyish. Um, it's the energy that I feel. And I feel like someone in this uh, connection isn't taking accountability for their actions. This could be both of you guys in a sense, but yeah. Yeah, spilling secrets. Yeah, the tea. Yeah, because it's a lot of secrets, hidden um, things that are coming out. A lot of competition. There it is. That's the third party. So this person is tired of being in that energy. This also, too, I feel like could be a father figure as well. And if they are, they don't have time for that. You're not the usual type. You're rare and unusual to most. Very mysterious. Yeah. It's just like a lot of things that's done in the dark is starting to come to light. And it's, it, and it's causing strife within this connection. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's too many mysteries. And for some of you guys, this is this person too, this King of Cups, because you know, the, uh, you know, cups represent love and everything like that. But, you know, there could be some mystery behind those cups as well. You know, they were worn. Now they're getting dog walked. Wow. Whew, so this could be you or them to get how it resonates, you know, so somebody in this connection warned the other person, like, you keep being in this energy with me, you keep putting me in third party situations, I'm going to dog walk you. And that's literally what happened. Knight of Pentacles energy. Yikes. Yeah. So they're slow to move. They're not, they're not investing. They're not moving fast when it comes to you. Right? Divine feminine or masculine ticket out resonates. Queen of Pentacles. Yikes. They know you're held in high honor by the divine. That could be you towards them. Ticket out resonates, vice versa. Needing support, but are limited to resources. Yeah. So somebody feel like they can't even talk to too many people about this because of their behaviors. Yeah. Somebody's about to get good news and fortune for some of you guys watching. That's amazing. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, but somebody in this connection is stupid and very fool and, and invest in foolish behavior. Yeah, this is how they see you. Um, right? Aries, this is your a lot of you guys are in this energy. This is crazy. And I said it from the beginning. This is the energy that I feel for y'all. Whew, y'all gonna be mad at Auntie Nay. Don't be mad, okay? But the whole point of you guys watching this is so that you can understand where you're going wrong in this connection, right? It's like um it's like somebody is it's like somebody doesn't really know what they want. They do, but they but it's like they're they're stuck in toxic behaviors, past learned behaviors. You get what I'm saying? And it's and it's causing so many problems moving forward in this connection. You're talented, beautiful, and smart, very magnetic, and it feels it feels their jealousy. So for some of you guys, Queen of Wands, this is your energy um, to be very talented, beautiful, and very smart. But this could also be a jealousy of this King of Cups. So like I said, this is 50-50 energy. So take what part of this is your story and flip the roles, okay? Don't get mad at me. But for a lot of you guys, this person feels this way about you, Aries. Strong. Very, very strong. Okay, off the top. Yeah, and they're fed up. Damn, what I say. They're fed up. Oof. Yeah, because it's been a false narrative. A lot of gossip, lies, and betrayals in this connection. I'm a, well, what is this? Yeah, no, I'm going to just leave it. <laughs> that's not Empress energy. Empress came out. Yeah, that's not Empress energy. Yeah, so, damn. Listen, let me know what's going on in you guys' connection. So, Aries, if this person is the one who's being like this with you, sound off. And um, Cross Watcher, if you're watching for Aries, sign off if this is what they are being to you. Because this is very strong. And for some of you guys, it goes both ways, right? I feel like, um, and I feel that strong too. Because some of you guys, um, you and this King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy are all embodying these, um, this deception towards each other. And um, and it's like everybody needs to change their negative, nasty ways. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, child, the stress of it all. All right, my love buds, this is the end of your reading. Well, I hope it re uh, resonates with you. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let me know what's going on here. You know, Etienne and the whole gang here at Real Love Tarot is a nosy. We like to know what the backstory is. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one, Aries. Bye.